Welcome back, folks, to some more Icewind Dale. So the last one we left off in this little village here, and I've been doing some shopping. We'll go over really quickly some of the things we've gotten. Uh, we got some... Uh, well, we did get a quest from Kano the Boyer here. Uh, we'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, let's see here. All right, we got this air against uh, against the armor. Plus two full plate is a plus ten bonus. Uh, also gives plus two reflex saves. Got that for the dwarf cleric. We also got. Uh, some braces of defense here. Plus three. Put these on uh, Masriel because she didn't have any damn armor. Got some bracers of archery here. Plus two missile weapons. Gave them to the drow. Uh, I initially bought them for Ember Barkskin. Uh, but they won't stack with this helmet I bought her, which is the Helm of the Hunter. And this gives plus two to missile weapons. Four to search, four to wilderness lore. For some reason it doesn't stack. Uh, I checked it. Uh, the most she has here is uh, plus four. Uh, so for some reason, doesn't stack any higher. Uh, also got an oak shield for Ember Bark Skin. It's a plus two small shield. She allows her to cast a Bark Skin once per day. And has the same strength of the shield she had before, so puts up to 21. <laughs> Just say the and word. I bought this little uh, decanter bottle, which I'm going to use now. Ready and willing. Hello, my friend. Uh, I am named Basha Al Rashid. The decanter you hold is my home. I will serve you three times, or you may set me free. You said I can set you free? Free, my friend, yes. If you have no need of my services, you may set me free. I will take my home and go elsewhere. I'd like to free you. Free me, are you certain? Yes. So be it. Bashar al-Rashad shall go, but not before rendering unto you three gifts. Senator, thanks for not wasting my time. Good day, my friend. And so, by letting the genie go, he gives us a star sapphire. Cloak of protection, plus one. And some brazen bands. These are enchanted to draw an enemy's blows to them and cancel their inertia, thereby providing protection equivalent to that of chainmail, but without the inconveniences that wearing such heavy armor normally entails. These are plus five uh, deflection non-magical bonus. So we're going to give those to the Dwarf, bring in this AC to 27, give our Paladin the plus one attack loves. The Monk can hold on to the Wound Stone for now, and the plus one Cloak we'll give to someone that it works on. There we go. What would you like? Not hard. I'm here. Strangers. Hmm. I am Suwoma, the village elder and teacher of magic. I welcome you. You must give our grim faces. These are dark times for us. What troubles this village, Shinoma? Many things, traveler. The worst of it concerns our children. Many have gone missing of late. Is there something I can do to help? Yes. And I can help you in return. If you intend to continue traveling eastwards, you must pass through the haunted fell wood. The trail to the cold marshes beyond the forest is difficult to find. In this village, I alone know the way. Why only you? The cold marshes are fraught with peril. Barbarians, snow trolls, and worse lurk there. No villager need know the way. Do you tell me the way I then? I cannot. 
Not now, at least. Why not? Soon after these dark times fell upon us, I dreamt of strangers. Girded for battle they were, with eyes like fire and their hands heavy with the tools of war. Yet somehow, I knew they had come to aid the village and not destroy it. And you think we're those strangers? Yes. Forgive me, but I cannot give you your answers just yet. I must ask that you speak with Venla the healer first. She will tell you what must be done. Please help us, and we shall help you in turn. Yes? What can you tell me of Nim? I know nothing of him. Only that he came to find someone that he was certain would pass by our village. Can you teach me spells? Because I like spells. Yeah, I sold a bunch of shit, too. Alright. <laughs> you surprised me. Greetings, I'm Jari, a hunter of the wandering village. You seem troubled, Jory. Yes, my beautiful Anja and I are in love. But she has a number of suitors, and her father wants us to compete. Anja truly loves me, but if I fail to impress him, well, I have to flee the village, and her father will be together. What sort of competition is it? Hunting. And hunting's what troubles me is that I'm not a great hunter. I know I'll fail. Sometimes I think entering the Fellowwood to hunt one of the great white wolves there, but I'm simply not good enough. I have a pelt from one of those beasts. Well, you do? If only I was strong enough to win one myself, I could impress Anja's father and he'd allow us to marry. Here, take it, it's yours. I, I can't begin to express my thanks. Please, take this in return. Farewell, traveler. Anja and I won't forget this. Ah, gee, thanks for the bloodstone amulet. You cheap motherfucker. At your command, duty call. Buy some hemp rope, by the way. <coughs> Almost forgot. My sword is yours. I am on it. Just say the word. Welcome back, traveler. Suomo sent me to speak with you. I'm supposed to help you. Oh, you must be the one she spoke of then. The strange is in her dream. It's horrible. Many children have vanished recently. So Oma hopes you can find them, or at least where the fallen victim to. Are there any clues as to what's happened? Only that our best hunters have searched everywhere and found no trace of them. Some fear that they were lost in the fell wood to the east, that some fey creature like a dryad or nymph stole them away. Can you tell me about yourself? Well, I'm in charge of gathering herbs and medicinal plants, as well as tending to the sick and hurt. It's been difficult lately since the cold marshes have become so dangerous. Could I help at all? Oh, if you're going to the cold marshes, yes. If you see any of the herb frost rose there, bring it back. I'll make medicine with it that eliminates poison and disease from the body. I will gladly give you some. All right, Biatch. Ready and willing. Let's start uncovering some of the map here. Speak. I attend. Now I'll forever I hold your I peace. Stuck here. I'm here. I. I shall see to it. Get some. <laughs> 
just runs right past me. Go ahead, attack the dwarf with 27 armor class. Fine with me? Not that. Had to wolf some wolf ass. There is nothing within the wolf's lair save bits of gnawed bone, shed fur, and the foul stench of piss and cutium. They also did not have a single fucking thing to steal. How rude. My hands like bone, it's madness. The hell is complaining over here? By my father's frosty beard, how many times must I drive you dung flies off? Again, I must bloody my blade. Wait, I haven't come here to fight you. Are you here to steal more of my chief's treasure then, or befoul my noble resting place? By my grandfather's sword, I'll break your bodies and hang them from trees like bleeding dolls. No, I only wish to speak with you. So, it's words that I... Bah, <laughs> devious things, words. Know this. I won't be lulled by silver tongue trickery, living one. You said steal more treasure. Have you lost something? Have I? Curse my failing memory. Yes, yes I have. And that must be why I'm here. You, you stole it. And now you return to mock me. I'll cleave the limbs off and feed them to my hounds. I stole nothing from you. What is it that you're missing? Missing my, uh, my horn, my drinking horn, golden rot and gemmed and crusted with stones like the winter sky, my treasure most prized. Where is it? Did you steal it? Do not lie, living one. It sounds nice, but if I did have it, I wouldn't return it to a withered fuck nugget like you. Brave or foolish, no warrior is a match for the blade of Sorderson, the Toxed Die. Alright, so it's completely okay to kill this guy because My sword is yours. as long as you rest 24 hours and come back, he'll be here again. And and he's good XP. Depart before the coming of the drowns, or pray for quick death. Now, he's also got a little stash here, but you can't get in. <laughs> Not until you bring him back his horn that he's missing. Again, go ahead and kill him, because he'll come right back and he'll have no idea Ready, you just I... killed him. It's kind of I'm funny, actually. Killing the fuck over and over. Head into the Fellwood. The journey took four hours. Holy shit, all right. You 
you can count on me. Drop some heels real quick. Uh-oh, gonna run into some snow trolls. Your life holds no promise. At your command, my sword is yours. Should hang back, probably. What now? So we don't enrage all of them. Just say it shall be done. And we have a shaman in their midst. I'm here. Not too late now. Let's it shall be done. shaman. I hear you. Not hard. Dead ass snow trolls. My sword is yours. I listen. Just say the word. Ready Just to say the word. The bird is the word. An unidentified corpse is buried here in the frozen earth. Okay. Fantastic. Come woodwind, get your ass with the party. I am prepared. Yes. Okay. Let's see here. So if I launch a fireball into the Right around there, yes. yep. I'm there. Those guys obviously are not on my side. Yeah. Boom shakalaka! Yeah, he didn't like I that much, did you? Where's their shaman? Where's their shaman? 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 Barely injured? Hurt? I don't see any shamans. 
That guy's pretty fucked up, though. Yes? It's time to create our life. Either way, we advance. <laughs> Say we heal up again before we enter that tent. I await your orders. Baccio, Baccio. Go ahead. I hear you. Baccio, Baccio. Your command. Need to refill my drink drink. Roth, it was during Borab, the Reaver's sacking of the Blue Citadel, that Alamis Peacemaker, youngest son of Earl Merrimore Peacemaker, Lord of the Blue Citadel, stole into the locked vault his father that had so well hidden. There alone in the cavernous chamber, where Roth, hateful and furious, the dread sword, axe, and armor of Huron, ancient ancestor of Alamis, once known as the Bloody Juggernaut before he broke his cursed iron spell and took the peacemaker's name. Adamus, a mere boy, donned the fell armor and looked at Roth in hateful hand. Alone he cut his way through Borab's motley horde of humanoid raiders until he faced the towering half-giant himself, hacking him down and scattering his army to the wind. His family, father, mother, brothers, and sisters alike, had all died by then, but Adamus no longer cared. He stalked the realm's eyes ablaze with madness, slain monsters and brigands wherever he found them. But as years passed, and Alamis found no more such weight to thresh, he took to turning his thirsting blades on all who crossed his path, and so, once more, the bloody juggernaut had returned. This heavy on a door bastard sword of dull gray steel is a cursed thing. Only showing his true form when the wielder is wounded in battle, it, then, it is then the hilt sprouts crimson tendrils that bury themselves into the wielder's forearm, drinking his or her blood. The demon sword opens the three glaring eyes along its twisting, dripping blade and drives the wielder mad with the lust for bloodshed. Should a warrior carry Roth along with his brother's hateful and furious, his or her soul would be lost to the hell for doms and armor. To wield even Roth alone might be construed as insanity, but there will always be those for whom it may just be the weapon they're looking for. Can only be unequipped with a removed curse spell. Uh, yes, makes you rage. Not so big on that sword. Selling it! Certainly not Ready usable by a paladin. Duty call. So we'll let the paladin carry it. See to that lovely bro. Alright, looks like we've entered a witch's lair. I'll take your help, you motherfucker. These pots and urns contain a wide variety of crushed, powdered, minced, or liquefied herbs, minerals, and sundry other substances. Cool. 
And some are gone. Move your arm. You're in mother's way. What's your pleasure? I'm there. Welcome. Don't let your paladin Welcome. talk to this bitch. I am Limha, and this is my home. Do come in, precious. Put yourself at ease. It is safe here. Very safe. I'm looking for some missing children. Are you? I wish you luck, then. The only child I know is my precious Agog, and he is very easy to find. Agog? Agog is my only child, my precious son. Harmless and gentle, aren't you, my boy? Uh. Yes, Mother loves you. What is this place exactly? It's my little home in the wild. I enjoy the solitude here, where I experiment with and create all manner of potions. I can brew something to sell you if you'd like, or teach you a spell. I also sell trinkets that I've picked up from foolish barbarians. What do you got? Ring of the Warrior, plus one attack bonus, we'll take that. What else you got, Trick? That's it? That's fucking weak. I welcome you again, precious thing. Who's I that large Agog man? Is my only uh. Yes. Mother loves you. Of course. Ask me. Are you? I wish you luck then. I. I. I welcome you again, precious thing. I do hope you'll stay a while this time. I think not, Lima. I can sense the reek of utter evil beneath your mask of flesh. Just what manner of fiend or hag are you? Help me! Help! She's a mean and evil witch, and she's stealing all the children, and she's she's making them into mix. Is it true, Lima? You're turning the village children into tiny animals? Filthy lies from a filthy creature. Why, I have no idea of who this dirty child is or how it came to be here. <laughs> See, even the big man knows she's lying. She promised to give me sweets, but she put me in the hole with Layla, and she said that if we tried to get away, the big man would eat us up. And the other day, she took little Layla out, and she turned her into a mink. I saw it. I did. Go home, child. What's going on, Lima? How, how dare you take that tone with me, you worm! Do you think you can just wander by and change the way that things have worked for centuries? What are you talking about, you crazy old bitch? A curious little insect, aren't you? So be it. I'll tell you my tale. Every 66 years, I take six children using their spirits to bolster my waning power and beauty. In return, I protect that pathetic little village from all harm. From harm? What do you call stealing their children? How do you think that village of simpletons has survived for so long next to the most ferocious tribe of barbarians in the north, worm? Me! It is my terrible creatures that haunt the fell wood, my foul monsters that infest the cold marshes, and the countless black raven barbarians that my magic has slain, which keeps those ignorant, detestable fools safe. I alone allow that village to exist. Except for the children you destroy? Nonsense. They are not slain, merely sapped of some of their life's energy. The little maggots aren't left with enough of a soul to maintain a human existence, and so I change them into precious tiny minks. It's not my fault if their own parents later trap and skin them to trade their pelts away, though I do find it deliciously ironic. <laughs> Is it permanent? Can it be undone? Oh, you're so noble asking about the children, but I'm afraid not, worm. The only way to save those little minks would be to slay me. And that's simply not possible. I'm far too powerful to be bested by the likes of you. We'll see, bitch. If saving those children means your death, so Shh. be it. So eager to throw away your lives. Why? What you're doing is wrong, and you must be stopped. <laughs> so be it. Agog, help me kill them. We'll add their trinkets to my precious collection. Thought I told you to go home, child. Now hurry. But, but, but I'll help you fight them. I'm a good fighter. Uh, I'll go home now. Yeah, you
Yeah, you better dimension door out of here, bitch. I stand ready. At your command, I am on Speak. it. Speak. Easy as. My sword Something. is yours. Hey, Just God. Say the I am on Get it. fucked up. What would you like? You're going down, big guy. You're going down. Ready and willing. How your will be done. Shallow pit is probably used to hold refuse or small children. Looks like that's the only thing there. Probably want to save before you go outside because right. it might get a little hairy. Fucking bitch girl. Who's that quack? Fire arrows or what? Your command. What is it you need? What's your pleasure? How may I be of assistance, Ilaris? What would you have of me? Just say I. 
Do it. Do it now. Ready and do it. Got that triple stone skin going. I'm here. You can count on me. What is it you need? Alright. It shall be done. I am prepared. All right, folks. I'm not sure where Lima ran off to, like the little bitch that she is. That's your command. Very well. What the fuck? <laughs> Just got me all fucked ready. up. Yes. Elendar. Who's that quart? Let me know what you want. Summoned. We act. <laughs> what would you have of me? I await your orders. My life is yours, Ivaris. Yes. Done. I attend you. Your word shall be This is getting kind of fucking hectic. How may I be of assistance, Ilares? Your will be done. Elinda, your will be done. Usta Quart, yes, Mala Ilares. I am prepared. I am ready. 
I await your words. My guys are all over I the am fucking summoned. place. We advance. My life is yours, Ihares. I am prepared. I hope. Yes? My duty is time to test my metal. <laughs> that shit. This bitch is super annoying. Almost dead equals close to dead. Equals dead. I hear it's less fun than killing. Yes, All right, folks. I understand. It's a fairly close battle. Went a little bit over our time Speak limit, but that's now. okay. Ronstock's still fucking retarded over here. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.